Oh, we're right into it. Um, okay, I don't have a name. Uh, I used to have one, and a lot of people would like to know what it is. Some call me Trilby, and as a name suffices. I've been called many things. Burglar, a hoodlum, a criminal. I prefer to think of myself as a gentleman thief. And tonight, I have something potentially very rewarding in store. My fence phones me in the middle of the night and asks if I know about Defoe Manor. Apparently, the last of the Defoe line has obligingly died without heirs, leaving all the family valuables up for grabs. That's not good. The lawyers have got the place locked up tight, of course, but that's never stopped me before. And the place is, of course, deserted. All right. Yes, this should be a painless and rewarding evening's entertainment. Should be. Doesn't mean it will be. Alright! Hey, people of the interweb! I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome to a game called Five Days of Strangers. The first in a series of, I believe, four games. Let's see. Five Days of Stranger, Seven Days of Skeptic, Trilby's Notes, and Six Days of Sacrifice. Yep, four games. Alright, let's get started and see what happens. Day one. Uh, ooh, that doesn't work, dude. That doesn't work IRL. I mean, sure, it's a game, so I can accept it, but don't work IRL. And the Gentleman Thief makes his entrance. That's me, the Gentleman Thief. Alright, F3. Let's open the safe. Let's see what we came for. Oh, damn, empty. Guess the family solicitor got here first. Well, fuck. Well, I guess, uh, picture? It's too bulky to carry around. It's also unsigned and therefore valueless. Well, did you ever check behind the damn picture? Have you ever seen any movies? <laughs> the drawers are all either empty or full of meaningless paperwork. Okay, certificates, doubt you'll want those, but hey. They have no value to anyone except the owner. And he's dead. Okay. Sure. Uh, can I go out the door? I prefer to leave the same way I came in. Well, the place is deserted, so why don't it matter? Ah, fine. Here, we'll go out the damn window then. It won't open. Alright, we'll go out the damn door then! Hello? Oh, hi! Wait, what? Oh, no. No! Stay away from me! Stay away! What? Got into him. Oh, wait. I keep forgetting I'm wearing this thing. But who the hell was that guy? I was under the impression that this house was empty. Apparently not. Can I open this door? Locked. Oh, okay. Can I open this door? Locked. Well, one of these doors got to be unlocked. There's no way he just vanished after running this way. Locked. So, he's probably locked one of the doors, or he's in here. It's locked, in it? Nope. Nope. Hello. What's behind curtain number one? Nothing. How anticlimactic. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, when I need it, I'll let you know. But I need it now! I'm not sure what to do with myself. Uh, I'm gonna leave that up to you, bro. I'm not the sort of cat burglar who leaves the taps running out of sheer malevolence. So you're not... You're not Marv from Home Alone. Oh, okay. Well, that narrows it down from one person... <laughs> It narrows it down from one person to six billion nine hundred ninety-nine. Keep going! I never told you you could stop. Ooh, newspaper. A telepona. Telepony. Line's dead. Somehow I was expecting that. Well, I. Newspaper. 
should always keep abreast of day-to-day -day events. Okay? Can I leave through the front door? No latch, no chain, no deadbolt. Doesn't even have a keyhole. So why won't the bloody thing open? This is becoming very tiresome. Yeah, no kidding. Hello, can I take this picture? I know some pretty unscrupulous art de dealers, but I doubt even they deserve this. Wow. Okay. Can we watch some TV? I want to watch some TV! Whoa. In other news, the society world is still shaken by the sudden death of Sir Clarence Defoe. Sir Clarence and his wife, Julia, were found dead last Thursday in Defoe Manor. Our correspondent, Peter Daltrey, has the report. It was just four weeks ago that this place was a buzz of activity and Sir Clarence Defoe moved in with his new bride, Julia Swanson Defoe. Now, after this shocking tragedy, the place is quiet as the tomb, and empty of human life. Heh. <laughs> Sir Clarence had only proven his attachment to the devote. Okay. And since then, had been renovating the long-abandoned family mansion in preparation for the move. The police have already declared the tragedy as a murder-suicide, although many have insisted that Sir Clarence was incapable of such an act. The debate rages on, while the fate of the house and family fortunes remain unclear. This is Peter Daltrey, BBC News, Defoe Manor. Thank you, Peter. Our top stories again. Minister. Okay, well, I guess we will never find out. I hate television. Well, fuck. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Oops. It's about time you showed up. What? Sorry? And well, you should be. I've been stuck in this house for days. Where's the way out? The hell do I know? I'm sorry. I don't understand. You are the guy who owns this place, right? No. Oh. So how'd you get in? There's a window on the second floor. Is it still open? Nope. Nope, it jammed shut. Damn. Well, looks like the house has a new guest. I hope no more turn up. We've only got five chairs. If you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Wait a minute. Yes? Who are you? Oh, I beg your pardon. Hottie's the name. Philip Hottie. Call me Phil. And you are? Trebby. Mr. Trebby, I am afraid you are a prisoner now. Oops. I read that wrong. <laughs> like me, like everyone else in this house. A prisoner? Don't ask me why, but once you get in, the house won't let you leave. I've tried all the doors and the windows, none of them open. The garden wall's unclimbable, and I can't tumble under it. But why? Who's keeping us here? Beats the hell out of me. Whoever it is, they will certainly not be safe from my fists once I get out of here. <laughs> so if there's something you're not telling me, now would be a good time to get it off your chest. I assure you, I am completely mystified. So, how many people are in this place? Only three more. First there's Jim, the youngest. He turned up just after I did. He's a good, good kid. Second, Simone Taylor. You probably know her off the telly. She's a correspondent for the BBC. She came here to make some kind of documentary, I think, but now she's stuck here with us. Lastly, there's AJ. Skinny bloke with a tash. He won't tell us who he is or where he came from. All I know is that he's been here longer than anyone. Nearly a whole week. I think I've already met him. Oh, what a heartwarming story. Anyway, why don't you see if you can track them all down? I'm calling a house meeting in the lounge. Spread the word. I trust you'll enjoy your stay at Defoe Manor, Mr. Trilby. I still don't understand. Just find the others and tell them to meet up in the lounge. We can discuss things properly then. Okay. Alright. Fire! Oh! Oh! 
I think the instinct to stick a hand in the fire was a evolved out of us as a species a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a caveman. Oh, fun fact. I So, the high school I went to, the uh, their mascot was actually cavemen. I think it, yeah, I still have the, a shirt for it. So, yeah. Our people are apparently the ones who ruled out don't touch fire. Fire pretty, though! I'm not sure what to do with that. I'm not trying to touch myself. That's what he said. <laughs> I think the instinct to stick a hand in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moose head! Moose head! The antlers wouldn't fit inside my blazer. Fair enough. Even if I wanted that ugly thing, which I don't, I'd have to break the glass to get it. Well, I mean, you're stuck into foam manner anyway, so it don't matter. Also, there's a reason I'm not unplugging this. Um, I have played the game before, although I've never done this as an experiment. What I'm going to do is every day, unless it forces me to unplug the telly, I'm going to watch TV every single day. Once every day. From what I was to I've been told, though, there's actually... A story that's behind that if you do. Ooh, books. I actually really like reading. I'm actually in the middle of reading a series right now um, called The Glass Throne. Uh, it's it's good so far. I'm like only one-fifth into it though, so I mean... the It's the first book, by the way. The Assassin's Blade, I think is what it's called. Yeah. I doubt any of these would be helpful. You don't know! But, I mean, yeah, I, I like it so far, and I've always been into that kind of stuff. Alright, let's go upstairs. If I remember correctly, Simone is up here. Uh, are any of these unlocked now? Nope. I doubt she's in there. Oh, hi! Well, hello! Hey! Can I touch your butt? <laughs> no? Okay, um... Can I at least look at... Okay. I'm gonna try to look at your butt. Unless I'm very much mistaken at Simone Taylor. I know this. Well, then, if I can't look at your butt, let me touch your butt. No? I don't want to fight her. Alright, maybe I can talk to her butt. <laughs> Pardon me, madam. Oh, hello. Fidget mentioned we had a new guest. You're Simone Taylor, right? Yes, you must have seen me on TV. And you are? Trave. Got a first name? No. Hey, wait a second. Not the cat burglar, Trave. Oh, wow. I presented a crime watch special on you once. Oh, man. I wish I had a camera right now. This could be huge. You wouldn't consent to an interview, would you? Why do I get the feeling the camera would be destroyed anyway? Madam, even if I did have a sudden retarding brain injury, though, okay. Don't you think our apparent imprisonment is a slightly more urgent matter? Well, I admit, I thought so at first, the first day I was here. But I've been here four days now, and I really think I'm learning a lot about this place. If I could just get these infernal doors open. Philip's calling a house meeting. In, a, in the lounge. Yes, it's so like him to do that when a new face appears. Is that a bad thing? I'll see you later, Mr. Chubby. Make sure to touch her butt! No, okay. <laughs> well, at least look at her butt! No? Okay, fine. <laughs> Strange woman. Yeah, I guess. What was she doing, anyway? Alright. F1. Let's walk downstairs. If I remember correctly, I believe Jim is up in a tree. But that's if I remember. It's been a while since I played the game. Last time I played the game was back in, like, 2014. Or maybe it was 20. It was either 2014 or 2015. I do remember the picture changing, though. I think it changes, like, into a bear. Like a bleeding bear or something. Hello! Hey! Is the tree talking to me? Uh, 
All right, let's talk back, I guess. Is there someone up there in the tree? I know I'm acting like I haven't played it. Hello! Hi, Jim. Oh, hi. You're new. Have you come to set us free? No, apparently I'm a prisoner now, too. I'm guessing you must be Jim. What were you doing in the tree? I thought I might be able to get open the wall. Oh my gosh. Uh, then there's the ravine just outside the wall, too. So I understand, yes. Philip wants us all to meet up in the lounge. Oh, okay. I'll head there now, then. Okay, this is about the extent of my knowledge. I don't remember anything else. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you can tell it's been a long-ass time since I played the game last. Maybe... Well, where the hell is... Are you hiding in there? Maybe if I had something to cook, but I don't. Alright, fine. Or maybe I'm stupid. Did I miss an area? Maybe I can make- Oh, I did not mean to do that. No. Tally. Phone. Line's dead. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Hi. Ah, oh, a new arrival has graced us with his presence. I expect there's a lot you want to- Okay. Join the club. Oh, a lot you want to know. Okay. So, let me see if I've got this clear in my head. You're all trapped in this house by some invisible intelligence. Right. And you can't leave. Nope. And as soon as I entered, I became trapped too. Pretty much. Why? Why would anyone want to keep us prisoner here? Maybe they're just lonely. No, if they wanted company, they'd have shown themselves. Maybe they have. Maybe one of us is... Oh my god. This is... I, if, no! Why would any of us want to be tra to trap a load of people here and pretend we... Okay. I don't know. Do I? I don't speak loony. We mustn't squabble amongst ourselves. Hampered by paranoia and suspicion, we would only hinder each other. That's smart. I suggest we assume for now that... What? I agree with that. <laughs> we five, including AJ. Where is he, anyway? I couldn't find him anywhere. I didn't bother looking. I saw him just after I arrived. Well, that's odd. Listen, Mr. Trevor. We work as a team in this house. That's how it's been since it started. So we all have to share information. No secrets. So why did you come to this house? He's a cat burglar. Why do you even have to ask? Well, I didn't come here to take part in some bizarre Big Brother event, that's for sure. I didn't expect anyone to be here in the first place. Is there anything you know about this house that would help? Anything at all? I doubt I know much more than any of you. All I know is the last heir just died and it's supposed to be empty. Hmm. Well, guess you're not much of a help then. But I suppose an extra pair of hands is always useful. Yeah. I'm still not completely clear on a few details. Do I get to ask you all some questions now? Sure. Just ask any of us whatever you like. Okay, time for questions. Time for questions! But first... Well, let's see. Is there a way to save on here? Oh, that wasn't right. Cancel. Hold on. I'm going to fix something because I know I'm going to screw something up if I don't. Just go into settings really quick. I'm sorry about that lag on the camera. Just make sure. Okay, yes, it's working again. Good. Sorry about that. I'm just fixing a hotkey that I have on here. Clear you and change you to one. The number one. Change you to the number two. Or no. You to the number one and you to the number two. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the hotkey to uh, 
record and not record. That way I'm able to do this. Because the button that did this before actually stopped the recording. So I'm going to save here. I'll do this off screen, but I am going to end the episode here. Uh, and we'll ask questions next time. Ooh, this is going to be something else. <laughs> this is going to be an adventure! Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Five Days a Stranger. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you got any suggestions for me as far as like any other games that you'd like me to play goes, just let me know in the comments below. It includes anything PC, any um, kind of uh, system-related games, anything. Just let me know. If it's a system game, it might take a while, but eh, who knows. In any case, I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!